evening and welcome to Friday evening's BBC London News. I'm Asad Ahmed. The multi-billion pound development of a super sewer spanning 15 miles of the Thames has been given the go-ahead. The government-approved tunnel running from Hammersmith to Newham will update and modernise the city's Victorian drainage system. But it also means all Thames water customers will have to pay higher bills. Well, opponents say they're considering challenging the government's decision in court. Here's our environment correspondent, Tom Edwards. Work's already underway on the Thames Tideway Tunnel, and there was never much chance this huge project wouldn't get the government go-ahead. It would discharge something in the order of about 26 times a year, and it would discharge in a typical year about 300,000 tonnes of sewage into the river. The Thames Tideway Tunnel will divert overflowing sewage into a super sewer. The company says it has modified its plans and taken into account opposition. We have really been listening to people and we have been putting measures in place that will mitigate the, the nuisance and minimise the amount of disruption. But you know, this is not the end of that process. We will still keep talking to people and we will still work to, with communities to make sure that we further minimise the amount of disruption caused by the project. This is the problem every year sewage ends up in the river. These old Victorian sewers can't cope during heavy rainfall. The solution is to drill a 15 mile long super sewer from Hammersmith to Newham under the Thames through 14 boroughs. There's no surprise really that the Thames super sewer has been given the go ahead. These are preparatory works being carried out by an archeological team here on the foreshore. This scheme though will end up putting 80 pounds on every Londoner's water bill. But this is a contentious project at Chambers Wharf in Bermondsey. Like communities right along the river, they don't want the noise and the loss of some green space. The community will be furious. We're expecting at Chambers Wharf and in all the surrounding areas, including the local schools, of which there are three, we're expecting noise, disruption of long duration. Seven years is a long time in the life of a community. Others believe there are more cost-effective solutions, like stopping stormwater getting into the sewers in the first place using green walls, while some say the pollution in the Thames isn't that bad. The tunnel will cost four billion pounds. What Eric Pickles has done is prioritised squirrels and uh, greenery over the people of South Fulham, who are going to have 29,000 lorries over eight years, tons of dust, tons of air pollution, lots of noise, and uh, they've been blighted by the wrong government decision. Investors are now being sought for the project, but groups along the Thames are now considering a legal challenge. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.